Welcome to my new home. Let's have another apartment tour in the new apartment. Do you know why I have this? I'll tell you why. <laughs> but before we do that, please subscribe if you haven't yet. And don't click, don't forget to click the notification bell so that you will be updated each time I upload a new content. Hello, this is Wendy. So why do I have this curtain? <laughs> because of the layout of this apartment. When you get inside the house, you'll immediately see that door. You know what that door is? It's the toilet. <laughs> so just to avoid looking immediately at the toilet, we put this. So welcome, welcome, welcome again. So just like in the previous apartment, I am not a minimalist. I don't do Marie Kondo. So this house is a house that has some mess in it because that's the way I like it. Because that's how you know that there are people living in here with imperfections and with a lot of messes. Anyway, this is how I like this. We love green. So I have the plants here to welcome you. So you can breathe some fresh air inside the house. <laughs> um, this is from Ilo Ilo. You know, I'd like to do another house tour. No, another plant house tour so that I can talk about each plant. This is room number one. This is my children's room, my sons. They don't want to be separated, so they do one room. This is a a cage of our pet bird a long time ago we don't have a bed and uh, a pet anymore so it's there welcome to the living room uh in the former apartment these bookshelves is in one room because that used to be the workroom we wanted it to be the workroom but this time we wanted it the boys actually wanted it here and I love it. I love the look of it. I love the coziness of it. And what's nice is they can just grab. And they do that. They just grab their books, you know, and read. They read in their room or they read here. This sofa has been with us since we came over. <laughs> so that was like 15 years ago. They don't want to change this because the boys are being sentimental about it. So, there we put the, the bookshelves here. The lamp. You know, I think I have another video where I put travel souvenirs. This one is from Bangkok, from Thailand. So, you can check out that video where I talk about our travel souvenirs. So, and then... In the previous apartment, um, we didn't have a veranda. Here we have a veranda. This is the veranda. Welcome to the veranda and welcome to our coffee nook. This is where we enjoy our coffee, my husband and I. It's getting cold these days, so I have this. Because this morning while we were having coffee, I was like, oh, it's cold. My husband said, you should put a blanket here. So I did. And the best thing here is the view. Well, not this house view, <laughs> but over there, whenever we open that, like really open that. Now there's it's the, the sky is not so clear, but we have the Namsan Tower and all the other skyscrapers. But let's save that for later because I have another video of that of all the tallest buildings from my window and this is where I pretend to exercise I don't my husband and my children do I don't and then from behind there that's the laundry where you hang the clothes 
So, there. Let's go a little back here. Go inside the room, the living room. So, the usual thing there. This is the master's bedroom in here. This is the master's bedroom. No, I will not open the door. <laughs> this is the, there's a toilet inside the master's. This is the toilet here. So, it's okay. You don't need to go inside the toilet. Yeah, a toilet is a toilet. You know. And over here is the kitchen. Actually, because we don't have a workroom anymore, so we put it here. This is where I work. I do my video editing and all that. My husband, sometimes when he works at home. The kitchen! Of course, I have a video of this five-door refrigerator. Check it out. It's in my channel. Five door family hub, Samsung family hub refrigerator. That's another video. The usual. This is, oh, we have a bigger laundry area here. We have a bigger laundry area compared with the other apartment. And so I also put our oven, oven here. I think they put their kimchi wrap here. We don't have a kimchi ref. We don't do that. We have the best sunset here. On the other side is the best sunrise. You can check out my video of the sunrise. Here we have the best sunset. I could open the window. I have another video of the best sunset that we have here. And here, I'll show you. There's a window here for our other room so aside from this window i'll show you we'll go to the other door this is the third room but it's not a room anymore it's not a bedroom instead we transformed it into a dining room so a while ago i showed you the window here so this is the room that has this window so this is the the dining room because it's like this we this is the time of covid we don't expect any visitors coming to sleep with us here or to visit us we don't expect family to come so instead we wanted and we don't expect to go out and eat much and we want to savor our family time our dinner time so we wanted to have a cozy dining room a cozy um place where we enjoy our meals so we transformed this into a dining room so it's just right for our table we put some of our plates our decors here and of course, I have a video of this wine corks. My husband and I did this. This is our artwork. Um, check out that video. It's it looks easy, but it's it's a lot of cutting, a lot of boiling and arranging, but we love it because these are the wine corks of all the wines we've drank. <laughs> So that's our wine corner over there. You know, this room, small it may be, has been transformed several times already. This used to be our drink corner. So this is the coffee coffee machines. Uh, we do, my husband likes manual coffee makers. So we have a collection of manual coffee makers here and we used to put the wine um how do you call that wine stand or wine whatever wine shelf or i used to put it here but after some rearranging and rearranging it's now on the other side instead i put plants there 
So this is our dining room. We've we've had some a few visitors already, like a few, very few, and small numbers. Unlike before, when I invite so many, now no more. I just we just invite two, three. There, that's it, and it's more cozy. So that concludes our house tour. The houses here in Seoul are not big. Unless, of course, you are a, a very high-ranking executive or the CEO of a company, then maybe you get to have the nicest apartment. So this is an ordinary apartment here in Seoul, South Korea. And three-bedroom, um, veranda, nothing extraordinary. It's... Mm, there. <laughs> if you have any comments, I would love to hear your comments. Please put down in the comment section below. And I would really love to hear from you. Again, please subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell so you will be updated of the next video upload. Till the next one!